Hi, here I'm gonna demonstrate how to do the upgrade image for Android. For uh, this upgrade you will need a Windows computer and your Android screen. On the Windows computer you have to install the uh, software for upgrade and then if you have installed it you have to install also the driver and the software itself. Then what you need to do is open the software tool that we have here for example this Android tool and then go to upgrade firmware section select the firmware It's the name of the software and it ends on .img, image, we call it image file, but it is a software file. We open it, we have to wait about maybe 10 to 20 seconds in this software system. Well, now it's very quick, so now you see the image is loaded into the software system. And here it says no device is found. When it says no device is found, then it is not connected to the Android screen because we didn't connect it at this time. But we now show you how to connect. This is a 32 inch Android screen. And at the back side, you will see the portals for inputs. You have the input portal for the power, USB portals, HDMI, and also this mini USB portal. This mini USB portal or micro USB portal on other devices sometimes is a micro, but in this case we have this type of um, USB. We have to use this portal to connect to the Windows computer. So don't use the big one, but use the small one. The small one you need to use to connect to the Windows computer. So what you have to do is connect the cable to the laptop or Windows computer. We use Windows 7 and connect it to the screen. Then there is a small hole at the back side it's a reset button. Well, it's not a button, but it's a hole. And you need to use a pin. We use a paper clip. And you need to put it into the hole. So I will let's show you. And you need to hold and press the button you feel inside. If you go inside, you feel the button. You press and hold this button and then plug in the power keep on pressing the hole the button in the hole and then release it and in the screen you can find found one loader device so now it has connection so you have to find the hole at the back side the small hole the reset hole you have to find with the pin in the hole you feel a little button which you can press in press and hold and then plug in the power keep and hold it about maybe five to ten seconds until the message in the screen will say found one loader device so now it's connected we have also other screens which have not at the side, at the back side, the real back side, the, the hole, but the hole is just next to the hole of the power input. So you have to put in the paper clip over here. You hear the sound of the button. So it's the same procedure, press and hold, and then plug in the power. Okay. Well, now we go 
to the software on the Windows computer. It says found one loader and then here you see next to firmware you say, see upgrade. You click on upgrade and then you see in the right field you see what's happening. You can see that it is um, uploading the image on the Android. And when it is ready, it says finished and the Android device will start by itself. And you can unplug the USB cable. So let me press the upgrade button. Now it says disconnect connect and now you see in the screen I will here you can see downloading the firmware is now 10% 11% so it takes a, a little time that it will be downloaded on the Android device it takes sometimes uh, between one or two minutes so we have to wait a little longer it's now on 30% We will wait until it is ready. And then it will check now, this, after downloading, it will check the firmware again. So you see it in the screen. So it's checking right now. And after checking, it will say ready. There will be a pop-up in the screen. So we have to wait. Yes, now it's... It says... Downloading is okay. And you see in the screen... Now it will restart the screen again. If you have done the uh, upgrade of the software on the machine it takes more time for starting up the display uh, than normal startups because now it has to install the software itself on the machine so it's configurating all these kind of things so it takes a little time um, so it can take between one or four minutes uh, after it will be finishing and then you will see the startup screen of Android. So we will wait. Okay, now you can see it restarted the Android and now it's in the starting screen, the home screen of Android. So now you can just go to your apps. In this case, you have to slide up and you can find the Chrome browser 
you can find Explorer, you can find, in this case, the Play Store. You can go to the Home button and you can go to the Settings. You can go to the Wi-Fi and find your Wi-Fi and connect it to the Wi-Fi. And you can go to Chrome browser. And go to a URL. Well, I didn't, didn't connect it with the internet, so we first have to connect it to the internet and then you can go to the Chrome browser. Okay, now you're finishing, now you're finished to do the upgrade and um, the screen is uh, ready to go. Okay, thank you for watching.